Hi everyone, Miss Dolman and Lucy here. We're gonna hit the sound running and learn all about sound energy. Enjoy! Do you see those sound waves? That is my voice. Sound is energy that we can hear. It is a type of energy that is made from the vibrations. Animals use sound for navigation and communication. Who are you? Who am I? I'm Tao the Owl, and I'm a nocturnal animal. I am active and make sounds at night time. Bye-bye. Other animals make sounds too, like a dog bark <coughs> and a cat purr. Echo location. Next, we have called in our bat expert, Batman. If you look to your left, you can see a bat in his natural habitat. Bats use echolocation. They navigate and find prey by producing sound waves called ultrasound. Bats are able to determine their location by the sound waves that bounce off objects in their environment. Sound moves from its source of vibration through all matter, including air, water, and solids. Dolphins also use echolocation through water to navigate their surroundings. Hey ya! Humans use sound for communication and to make music. Hey ya! My turn! Depending on how the sound waves move, it can be loud or soft, and the pitch can be high or low. We also use sound as a warning signal. Like from this police car, they can make loud siren sounds to warn people. This fire truck signal makes people aware of an emergency. That's the sound of a foghorn. Lighthouses also use sounds as a warning signal to ships when there were low clouds. If a ship could not see the lighthouse's projected light, then the lighthouse would use a foghorn as a warning instead. This use of sound prevented shipwrecks like these. What other kind of sounds can you name? Sound for sound, that was the most energetic lesson. Bye everyone!